the master of my life has revealed to me that it is time for you people to become acquainted with the worship room of the gods where they had they had the, the spirits that had materialized they took they photographed them and then they had paintings made of them and there was a, probably about maybe a hundred of those around the place so how did you feel when you walked into that room I um, felt that uh, these people had power and they had a lot of it did that attract you uh, yes and no you had mixed feelings about I had mixed it. feelings about it yeah. because to a certain extent things looked so good and sounded so good to us but you see I'd been brought up in a Christian home uh, my dad says well you know if you get involved in wrongdoing you're gonna have to pay the price there's always a cost for everything in this world so this thought kept creeping to my mind just how far you go with these spirits before we could start paying the price so it made you just a little bit nervous oh yes but yet you kept going back oh there was no way out because that we were told you knew at that time yeah. so you were moving forward more on fear more on fear, yes, because the, the high priest said that uh, the master had special plans for us in our lives and that no one ever went into the society unless they were invited by the spirits. See, so that was made very clear. In reality, Roger, you were chosen mm -hmm. by high-powered demon spirits mm -hmm. to be a part of their human special privileged mm -hmm. group. You see, these people in Montreal, the society, uh, like the priest mentioned there's thousands of spirit worshippers in only different societies of spirit worshippers in this world but he says we are the elite we know the real truth about the master and his angels and they are not idiot looking beings they are gorgeous creatures and from the paintings that they had on the on that in on the wall of the walls of that worship room now when you would go to these praise sessions mm -hmm. what kinds of things happened at those at those sessions well there's a lot of uh, success stories uh, the the masters has done this for me and that for me I remember one uh, at what point did this demon worship start to affect you personally Roger well <clears throat> it wasn't too long that the priest mentioned to us that uh, the time had arrived for us to start trusting the spirits and give the spirit a chance to work for us. And there was a number of gifts that you could choose from. بس في بيروت وفي لبنان حاسس انك جايينك كبار قوي سمعت الله اعلم يعني ما بحبش افهم بيقول لك بيجيبوا حاجه الماده السيبه الاحمر دي بتبقى ماده غاليه جدا 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 بيحضروها وبيجيبوها معاهم بيحضروها جن بيطلع لهم جن جن عامل زي الجن الاحمر كده نار في وشه ومش عارف ايه وبيطلع الجن دوت بيديله طلباتهم وياخد منهم الزبا الاحمر ده يشرب ده اخر معلومات Just illuminate whilst I illuminate the possibility. Whilst I illuminate the possibility. Illuminate the possibility. the 
priest mentioned to us that uh, the time had arrived for us to start trusting the spirits and give the spirit a chance to work for us. And there was a number of gifts that you could choose from. Well, Alibaba had them 40 thieves. Sherry's out, he had a thousand tails. But master, you in luck, cause up your sleeves, you got a brand of magic never fails. You got some power in your corner now. It's heavy ammunition in your camp. You got some punch to dance. Oh, who and how? Say, all you gotta do is rub that lamp. And I'll say, Mr. Alonzo, what will your pleasure be? Let me take your order, jot it down. You ain't never had a friend like me. <laughs> What you wish, it's yours, true dish About a little more baklava As I'm a column A, try all of column B I'm in the mood To help you, dude You ain't never had a friend like me